This is the Google Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro, Geekbench 6 and 3D Mark benchmark tests. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. Before I start, here's a quick look at the device info. Both are 128 gigabytes. The Pixel 8 is on the left and the Pixel 8 Pro is on the right. Here's a look at the camera info as well. Now I'm not sure how accurate the information on this app is, but this is what it shows. I'll first start off by testing them with Geekbench 6. Here's the outside temperature before I begin. Alright, so the Pixel 8 Pro finished first, just by about 10 seconds. As far as temperatures go, the 8 Pro is at 34.4 degrees Celsius, or 34.9. And the Pixel 8 is about 34.3. For a single core score, the Pixel 8 scored 1,563, versus the Pixel 8 Pro, which is at 1,760. For multi-core, it was 4,159 for the Pixel 8 versus 4,442 on the Pixel 8 Pro. Now it's time for the 3D Mark Wildlife Stress Test. This basically runs the same test over and over for 20 minutes to see how the device handles over a long period of time. Alright, so now that the test is done, let's check the temperature. We have 43.3 degrees Celsius on the Pixel 8 Pro. And 42.4 degrees Celsius on the Pixel 8. For the best loop score on the Pixel 8, it's 8216 versus 8572 on the Pixel 8 Pro. The lowest loop score on the Pixel 8 is 4316 versus 5029 on the Pixel 8 Pro. And the stability is 52.5% on the Pixel 8 versus 58.7% on the Pixel 8 Pro. For the battery temperatures on the Pixel 8, it shows 55% to 46% versus 78% to 68% on the Pixel 8 Pro. For temperatures of 34 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius versus 33 degrees Celsius to 46 degrees Celsius on the Pixel 8 Pro. And for frame rates on the Pixel 8 was 19 frames per second to 63 frames per second versus 21 frames per second to 64 frames per second on the Pixel 8 Pro. I made sure to have both displays on 120Hz display rate or refresh rate, and I also made sure to have the adaptive battery turned off so it wouldn't throttle any type of performance. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're interested in seeing the teardown videos, make sure you subscribe and have notifications turned on so you'll be notified once I upload those videos. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.